Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to our podcast with Spencer Wixom. He's the CEO of the Brooks Group. Welcome, Spencer. Thank you, Gerhard. Wonderful to be here. Good to see you again. Tell me about the new research that your company has been doing and uh, what are the results? I'm eager to learn. We recognized with a lot of the change that was happening uh, in the market and buyer behavior and seller behavior last year that we wanted to get an understanding uh, from our perspective with our audience of what's happening. So we went out and did some really deep assessment and study of about 155 um, senior sales leaders in organizations of 50 million plus uh, to get their perspective. It was across a number of different industries uh, to understand what was happening, how their performance was going in 2023, what they had planned for 2024. And there were some findings in there that were what we would kind of expect in this environment. And there were some findings that were actually rather surprising to us. So one of our first questions that we asked these senior sales leaders was most important strategic objectives for 2024. Our number one response, so 65% of individuals put this as one of their top three strategic objectives in 2024 was increasing customer retention. We're getting this shift back to recognizing the value of those existing customers, how profitable, how important to a foundation of the business they can be. So retention of existing customers is number one. Number two, at 56% of our audience was strengthening margins and profitability. So this is really an interesting thing, right? Both margins and profitability are two separate things that are important for sales organizations to consider today. And something that wasn't being highly considered in a hyper growth mode of just a few years ago. There are a lot of organizations who are feeling much more a need to fund their growth, fund their operations out of operating cash flow, which means their opportunities need to be profitable. And they also probably have to relook more closely and carefully at the terms and conditions of each of their sales. To, so what was um, the, the third thing that uh, you discovered in your research? Yeah, so the third thing was very interesting. It's uh, expanding existing accounts as different from retaining existing accounts. Historically, I think we look at it in a very simple two-dimensional hunting versus farming way. I think what we're seeing, particularly in this environment, and, and as deals and relationships become more complex with customers, there are different types of farming. And I think as we look at really deepening strategic relationships with customers where we're selling into new divisions or new geographies, or new stakeholders in different departments, that can be as complex and as challenging and as uncertain as new business creation. And I think organizations need to step back and say, okay, do we have a strategy for retaining existing business, which allows for a continuity of account management, relationship management, value creation, value substantiation? Then do we also have a strategy for the heavy lifting involved in growing deeper, expanding out, selling in new solutions to, to new divisions and such. Salespeople need more training is because uh, it's like muscles, they're atrophy if you don't exercise. The repetition may be painful, may be boring, but if you really wanna win, you wanna condition yourself to a level of higher sales performance. What's interesting is below that is a is a second order of priorities. And those are all around sales effectiveness and sales velocity. So it's it's all of the old kind of equation metrics, right? My number of deals. Yep. So am I out there in new territories getting new opportunities in? So those are all kind of the second order priorities in organizations. What I found was interesting is at the bottom of that list, only 14% selected as one of their top three shortened cycle times. Cycle times are really tough nuts to crack these days. Like buyers have pretty much figured out on the average how much time it takes them to make these strategic decisions and putting a lot of effort at trying to shorten those cycle times seems to not be bearing a lot of fruit. I think a lot of organizations are looking more at how do I, uh, number one, get these average deal sizes larger by bringing a more integrated solution? How do I optimize the size and the depth of those deals? And then how do I improve my win rates? When you think about the elements of the sales velocity equation, the two areas where organizations seem to be most focused right now. This is the beginning of a new year, and I'm so glad that you uh, spotlight sales performance because 
to me, that's the driver, the, those capabilities, if they're elevated and we good sales training, you can improve it by 27, 30 or 40 percent. You're going to get better results. You're going to make quota. You're going to make 2024 the best year ever. And I want to invite people to go to the brooksgroup.com and uh, look at that survey. We are actually uh, making this available on, on sellingpower.com. So we are going to publish a link to the survey so you can download it. <laughs>